Hi friends, so today we are going to learn the concept of GitHub forking and how to keep it sync our local repository when we do development. So first of all, uh, forking is not a Git concept, it's like specifically to the GitHub and the difference between Git and GitHub is GitHub is a provider basically which provides you to host the Git repository. There are Bitbucket and several other uh, hosts uh, for git uh, on which you can um, uh, save or post your code um, on cloud basically on high level so uh, so let me real quick open github so uh, this is the github repository and this is mongo mongodb and i have my own uh, repository of github account so i can also go there so first uh, uh, for experimentation of this purpose what we are going to do is uh, here is the workflow whenever you go to a repository you have to fork it fork means it will create a copy let's say this is the mongo for example we have to work on mongo and contribute something it's hosted on github so we have to first fork the repository so let's try to open this and let's try to fork what do you mean by fork so here is the fork and fork means you will get a copy of this exact uh, account um, and uh, then you can make modifications uh, so let's try to fork It's as simple as you press a button here and then it would start forking that means it, it would copy all the files from mongodb mongo repository to prem a same mongo repository so here it's it was super simple we just got it forked now what's the next step so let's go to the blog and read so first is you create a fork then uh, you, we have to clone the fork that is your personal repository on your local so there are like uh, simple steps i'll take super simple simple step is you just copy it open terminal and then do whatever but i have a github desktop client which will do this step for me so it says it will clone and i am um, going to give it a repository here uh, yeah maybe i can let me go one level yeah here and then i say just clone so it's going to clone from premacy mongo so what we see uh, again let's refer this picture uh, this was the mongo repository i when i uh, forked it it became like this and now i am taking this copy here so this is the isolated uh, people can contribute or it can go in any direction but from local and origin i'll be doing like this sometimes if i have to take code from here to here then i can uh, if that's what we can think of uh, the up this is called as upstream and this is called as local this is origin so i can make changes and push to origin and then uh, for submitting here i need to create a pull request and for syncing from here to here which is the main motive of this topic we'll just learn uh, from upstream to local so we have some uh, simple commands plus the hands-on thing so just um, uh, follow my blog premasimwordpress.com how to create the fork you will find this in youtube channel like the video uh, you can just um, uh, you know easily follow these commands and you will uh, you can do it so uh, coming back to the point uh, let us see if uh, my repository got forked in uh, github desktop it's uh, getting cloned so it might take a while meanwhile i can talk to you uh, in interest of time so what we are gonna do our next step is uh, uh, we we are going to fire it um, git remote minus v so it would show whatever are the remote repositories attached so essentially it would show just this one and not the upstream so we will add upstream and then we will fetch from uh, upstream whatever the commits are there and once we get the upstream um, we have to merge the, our local repository from upstream then we can make some changes and push it so we are going to uh, finish this cycle real quick let's see if it got cloned by now we are almost there seems like so we'll wait till it gets cloned and cool it got cloned so let's try to this is you see the master thing here now we'll open it in a terminal and we'll say git status 
git remote minus v so it showed us it has the origin and this was uh, it you can fetch and push but it does uh, now we have to add the upstream upstream means from where we have got this so probably this is the one which is probably the base branch so origin means whatever uh, I do locally I can push to origin and this is the uh, you know base this is the copy of the base and we have cloned the base on local and we are making changes so now we have to sync from upstream git remote add upstream you give the command now once you say you see you got this base branch origin and we have set the upstream now now we can do git fet now let us do git branch minus a so it would show all the remote branches you don't see upstream branches yet so we can uh, uh, to uh, keep in sync you have to first fetch it git fetch fetch upstream so it has uh, fetched all these branches which were there so let us see it again so now we see a lot many branches because now on our local we have origin plus upstream so if there is something on upstream we can you know fetch it from there so and we can merge it to our local so let's see git so for the command for this is git merge up so what is the uh, branch which we are working on first check you are on master you are on your local master which is you know uh, your uh, origin and master so let's try to do git and then we say merge git merge upstream and it's master so it's already up to date if in case it was not you will get that back here so uh, this the workflow uh, probably these uh, by following the simple commands and um, this was just a practice thing so hope you like it if you have any question just post in the video or you can post it in the blog uh, thanks for watching and uh, these commands will be helpful i just followed these uh, commands and it's like super simple